Welcome everybody, Level M Diecast, bringing you real working rigs. Little disappointed. This is your Q case. So we're just going to throw these up here and have you take a gander at them as we go through. So there is the new models in the Q case. That is the new assortment that is the, you know, newest released versions. Now, it's kind of interesting because <clears throat> we've seen that one before. We've seen the grader before. We've seen cement truck before. And yes, we've even seen the Pierce platform before. Now, don't get too discouraged yet because yes, even in this box here, as we open it up, we also have seen that grader yet again and that cement truck yet again. Now, is there going to be anything different is always the question. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Yes, everybody, this is a little bit of a disappointment unboxing. Uh, we will get through this though. We are going to just cover all the bases. I uh, kind of feel like the uh, Mattel team or the Matchbox team, I should say, has kind of lost its drive for the Real Working Rigs line. I, I feel like they don't put any effort into it. They don't put any time into it. And so this is what we get. We get the same things over and over and over again. And if you are a collector of Real Working Rigs, which is, means you're probably watching this for that sake, this is bad news. This just means that your pegs are going to be clogged up with even more old models on top of those yellow satellite trucks, which are already clogging them up. This is the International Duristar dump truck. When this one was brand new, this was, um, well, I should say when this deco came out, this was a new deco at the time. Uh, this is for a throw out to uh, uh, Shaber. Uh, this is a uh, Matchbox former ambassador. Nice to get him on a, a model. It was nice to get this at the time. You know, nice deco on this. Does all your typical real working rig stuff. Moves, does all that good stuff. This original one dated M47. So this is our new one. Uh, we're going to crack this open. Number 12 of 16 for this year. Pull this guy right out of there. This is the deco, and yes, it is the same deco. So we will put the previous one on the top. You can see that the oranges are definitely different on the cab, but you know, you're just gonna have you know details of, of quality of prints like usual. Uh, it still has chrome tank on both of them, still has same wheels, same foil prints on both. You see the deco on the dump is the same between the two. No differences between there, other than, of course, you're going to have a little bit of different, you know, shade of orange. Um, other than that, it's going to be the same. All the details are the same. There is some details for the headlights as well, which is the same between the two. Same rear deets are the same. Of course, they do the same functionality. So this being our new one, <clears throat> R12 is the day code there. See if they have changed any base details on this particular model. If we kind of use the glare to help us read that black base, you can see there is no differences between the two. So another unfortunate one. So very disappointed in that for sure. Now this is the original release of this particular deco for the greater. This one dated L42 as you see on there. Now this base has been changed quite a bit. Um, I will bring in <clears throat> the one that was in the four pack. So the one that was in the four pack will be on the top. That is dated R08. You can see there is some detail changes to the base. Not a whole lot, but a few uh, changes on kind of where they put the print. See between the axles and stuff. Obviously, the newer one on the <clears throat> top is a much darker yellow, but the decos themselves are the same. Details are the same. All that good stuff like that. <clears throat> so this is our new one. We're going to crack this guy open. See if there are any differences from this one. So this one you see on the base dated R12. 
It's the only thing it does. It just moves the blade here. So we'll take a look at our previous one, which will be right on the top. So former on the top, new on the bottom. Again, <clears throat> yellow is darker on the newer one. But, you know, the details are the same. Same wheels, same uh, yellow stripe around that wheel. Same color blade, same color on the uh, cab. You know, all those details like that are the exact same. Prints on the top are the same. Kind of difficult to hold these guys. See, the prints are the same between the two, which is definitely unfortunate. So our R12 and L42. So L42 is the absolute original, the newest version there at the bottom. Does have the same modified base as the previous one. We'll grab the four pack one real quick. So the four pack one is on the top. You can see the date between these two was just four weeks. So they are gonna have the same updated base. They are a little bit different in the yellows, but again, it's just it's just the quality of prints. So very disappointing. Very disappointing. So we'll put those there. This is the original deco for this new casting. When this came, first came out, this was a new casting. This was modified from the Mercedes. They used to be the licensed version. Take a look at the base here. That is M12. I'm sorry, N12. There are the base deets. Has a rotating drum and then the kind of positioner, the downspout, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, swivels, that's all that does. We have seen this one in that four pack, which is this right here. Uh, we have covered that four pack as well. So I will link that uh, after the video in case you guys want to see the whole comparison on that one. Um, but as you see, the four-pack one here is on the top. It is a much, much different yellow than the one on the bottom, which was the original. The barrels are the same, though. They haven't changed. Take a look at the base. Deets R08 was the base code for that four-pack. Looking at all the other details, you see that there are no differences between the two. Nothing doing the Cement King HD. So we'll put the four-pack one back over there. Set down this original one for a second. We'll bring out our current one for the third time. You know, third time the charm. I highly doubt it. All right, taking a look at this guy. Same details, same deco. Bring in our previous, the original. You can see that the new one is a much, much, much lighter yellow. Then the absolute original one. Other than that, the details are the same. The prints are the same. All the, um, you know, wheels and all that good stuff does say King Concrete on the barrel. It is the same between the two. Same functionality with the downspout here and all that good stuff like that. Take a look at our base deets. R12 on the bottom is the new one. So they have not modified the base in any, re any way. So... Again, all the same. And then just taking a look at the one from the four pack real quick. Much, much closer on the yellows between these two. Uh, they were, you know, made four weeks apart. So other than that, there are no changes between the two. It's all in the shades of yellow, which is a bummer for sure. Now we'll go on to the Pierce. Now... <clears throat> The Pierce is only one per case. So each one of these is two per case. Uh, actually, one of these is three per case. And then the, for some reason, this guy's only one per case. So if you guys truly want this one, it um, might be a little bit harder to find. People still tend to buy, uh, you know, emergency vehicles. Uh, so this is a Pierce um, Velocity Aerial Platform. There you go, 100 foot. This is the absolute original date. You see it up here. It is L24. This was when this was originally released. You see this is Roanoke Fire EMS. So this is a licensed deco, which is a pretty nice deal. Uh, there is no print on the ladder, unfortunately. Does uh, raise up, moves 360. Um, does have two-stage boom here. You pull it out really fast, it goes. And then, of course, the you know platform itself actually moves around. Um, no, there's no outriggers or anything like that. That would be just absolutely ridiculous. So we'll crack our new one up here. Uh, this was 9 of 16, by the way. Sorry about that. 
Uh, this one, 14 of 16 for the cement truck. And then the grader, that guy was 11 of 16. <clears throat> I do believe there's uh, one or two more. There's one more mix, I think, to finish out this year. But um, not looking good. All right, so this is the current release. Again, still Roanoke. You can see mine is a little bit not assembled quite well. You can see the separation there. Uh, this white part is metal and the bottom part is metal too, so that's kind of nice. A little bit of a little bit of a bonus. So the original will be on the top, the new one on the bottom. You see the print on the bottom is a little bit better, a little bit uh, easier to read. Um, the tampo print on the wheels is much much darker on the one on the bottom, which is new. Uh, a little bit brighter white uh, print on the new one on the bottom as well. Um, so, you know, just quality of prints. Other than that, it is the exact same deco. There is no front details on this particular model. They are the exact same colors. The bases appear to be the same. Um, you know, that weird kind of a grayish tan color that they use to uh, get rid of having to do chrome. That's kind of what they do. Um, other than that, you know, they're both number ladder number five, so that hasn't changed between the two. Same details on the other side, same same prints, all that good stuff like that. There is no tampo on the back. Uh, this model has never had tampo on the back. Take a look at our base. The original is on the bottom, new one is on the top. See if there is any differences in the etching or details of the base. There is not. They even put the day code in the same spot. So unfortunately, you know, there really is no difference between any of these. It's just quality of prints. Um, you know, they could have easily taken this one uh, and just made this chrome and it would have been fantastic. It would have been a perfect change. You don't have to do a new deco or anything like that, but that's definitely unfortunate. So there you go. Not the greatest case. It's, uh, it's really not a good case. A uh, cute case, by the way. Um, this is finally showing up at Walmart. Should you want to pick it up? I did buy this from J car because I did not want to wait for it to show up. And uh, they're very disappointed in this case. I was hoping something would be different, but there you go. You have two Q-Case releases. No, that's just one because they're all redone. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if you share the same frustrations. Um, we're still going to keep buying every real working rig. That's that's just what we do here. But it would be nice to get some new, some new decos. It really would. So... Until then, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Level him. Peace.